I don't know. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to buy you some new clothes and then we're going out to lunch, okay? Hi, Marilyn. Oh, hi, Callie. Hi. Kelly, I'd like to thank you for taking such good care of John Ross. I appreciate it. Oh, but we're real pals now. <laughs> Sweetheart, could you go and wait for me in the car, please? I'll be right there. Sure. Thanks. Kelly, um, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Well, I'm always real glad to talk to you, Sue Ellen. Thank you. You look wonderful. Your honeymoon must have been very successful. Well, there were some tricky parts, but right now me and Jay are getting on just fine. I'm glad. You are, aren't you? Mostly, you've been truly kind to me, considering I'm the second wife and all. Well, that's because I like you, Callie. Look, uh, maybe it's none of my business, but I'm tempted to give you some advice. I won't be offended. Go ahead. I think you're very good for JR. You have a way of drilling deep and bringing up the best in him. Well, I try. But you're very young. Well, I... I well, you're not doing anything wrong, but, uh, but you're sweet and you're eager to please. And I know that, I know that he hopes that he can mold and shape you into his idea of perfection. Is that so terrible? Kelly, it cost me a big piece of my life to get rid of the spell of J.R. Ewing. In a sick way, maybe I needed somebody like J.R. to give me the strength that I have today. Fight for your own identity. Because at the end of the day, that's the only thing that's going to mean anything.